laner or it might be a roamer, Ooh. but it will be the Chang'e for the gold lane picked up and Impunity has, I think, a very balanced team comp here. Three magic dealers and two physical damage dealers for the side of uh, IDNS though. They like, they want to make it messy. With the Roger pick, with the Lunox and also the Cho Benedetta, they really want the fight to be messy. They don't want it to be... Uh, a proper fight. They mm -hmm. want to make, sure. make things messy. They want to just destroy the flow of the team fight. Right. So based on the drafts, guys, who do you guys like? I honestly like IDNS. I think it's a more well-rounded pickup, well I pick think. Up? All right, you're going to go for IDNS. What about you, Arashi? I like a very early game team composition, so I think I'll go with IDNS for this one. Okay, to IDNS, I will be the only one going for Impunity's draft because I just like their draft right here. They have pressure on the gold lane, they have the Pekito in the side lane as well, who usually wins against the Benazetta, especially in the early game. And I think, I think, in my opinion, it's just Impunity's draft is way more solid. But that is all the predictions. We need to get to the game to see for ourselves who will take this match as we get into game number one of match two. Let's get it. IDNS takes on Impunity KH. Okay, guys, this is going to be a super interesting match. But what I wanted to stress over a bit earlier is that I feel like Impunity doesn't really have a frontliner. Yeah, Impunity sure, doesn't. you have the Paquito. Oh, but the you have a technical plus utmost potential. Yes. But Mirko. Oh. We're back to the game. Finally, as now it is already Lois getting chunked down. He is going to be able to secure that orange buff with the retribution, though, as Impunity. They're looking for aggression in the early game against IDNS here. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. But also, we have to give props. I mean, YSS is such a good jungler because he is so independent. Like, he doesn't really need to be pushed up and pressured, uh, no pressure, supported by his two supports because he has a really good dash and escape ability. Even though right now you can see that Cho seems to be trying to pressure him out of his jungle. Yeah, but the Cho just does not, does not do damage right here. But wait a minute. They're doing a 2-1 format here as Ramella went to the bot side. It's going to be Renita playing this Cho in the side lane. And look at the HP of both the laners in the top side. Bakito and Benedetta are very low right there as they have done quite a, kind of a duel right there. I'm very curious to see their, their health bars there. What really happened there in the top side because Benedetta actually oh. won in the trade right there. Yeah, you're completely right. And as you see... 20 seconds on the turtle, and it feels like... Ooh, Ooh wait a minute. First what happened there? Again, I mentioned Izzy Buddy Easy with the Benedetta. You're not supposed to win in the early game, but he gets a kill first blood. Now, Lois is in a bit of a pickle, but he's still able to run away. Amazing roam from Lois. He saw that the Paquito was low, and instantly he just went to the top side, whereas Impunity, they kind of hesitated a bit here in the early game. Mm -hmm. Guys, I really wanted to see what happened there in the top lane. Yeah, for sure, but Impunity, knowing that they do not have pressure on the top side, still trying to force this as Makito tries to clear the wave. Yeah, IDNS will just easily take this pressure back. Renita already zoning two members away, actually three members away. Ramella joins in the fight, final blow being used to the backside. White Knight gets it though, he's oh. still able to run away. And my goodness, this is why I've been saying White Knight with his incredible plays. It didn't even look like he was able to get it, he just went in, got the retribution, went out super clean here by White Knight to secure that retribution yeah. steal. I mean, we saw that in his last match. Like, his micro skills is super on point. He goes in, he goes out, he knows his timing, and again, he gets that turtle. Yeah, for sure. White Knight now going to the Little Wanderer. Renita trying to look for an opening right here, but the Circling Eagle now to Renita. He's gonna Ooh. be get. He is caught out here. Mountain Shocker being used, gonna be able to junk, chunk. Renita down as Ramella will just try to zone them away, but White Knight right now with the turtle buff just doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like IDNS can look for a fight, right? He has the turtle buff that gives him a little bit of damage stats. Blue Ooh. goes in, and my goodness, the damage with a knockout strike. White Knight doesn't join, though. I think if he joined, he could have gotten a kill onto Flash right there. Oh, yeah, but, but now he jumps in. Ramella forced the flicker away. And yeah, right now in we Beauty, even mm -hmm. with that early game where IDNS got the first blood, they're pushing the pace. And yeah. like we saw, you see a lane swap coming out from OP and Boom here. So now OP is up in the up, uh, on the top side of the map now compared to, and Boom actually is with the team. Yeah, Boom is now still, actually IZ Bunny has rotated as well. He knows that IZ Bunny has been able to get the better of the trade-offs here against Boom. So OP is trying to nullify that by going to the top side, by lane swapping. But unfortunately now, it feels like IDNS is pl uh, they're playing for him, right? They're playing mm -hmm. to get this Chang'e in the top side. Roger is already waiting in that bush as T-E-Y-Y. He's going to go in, but Poise goes in with a Lycan Pounce. Not going to get anything as the zoning will be very, very good for the side of Impunity. Just protecting White Knight until he gets his items. Okay, guys. 20 seconds on the clock here for Turtle. And it seems like 
I do not sleep. Is planning to rotate to the bottom here, trying to put pressure, but I'm sure Impunity KH will come down and try to zone them off it. Ooh, three seconds on the clock, guys. Or, sure, right now, TYY trying to look for a pick, but Renita, Renita is right there. Boom. Looking for the knockoff oh. strike. A sent by jumps onto Ramella oh. instantly. Deleted by White Knight. Sleepy Bunny, though, gonna go onto there. Look at the final blow, and that zones away a lot of members, but no kills on the board. Izzy, what mm -hmm. a play right there, but now Impunity baits all the abilities and gets this turtle uncontested once again. That was really well played by Impunity. That bait, guys, okay, I have to think about this. I mean, Impunity seems like they're dominating, but Idea and S also knowing that, and they're trying to trade for the top tower here. Yeah, Idea and S with a great trade-off right there. They know they, they cannot contest the turtle, so instantly the response is react to the top side. But same thing goes for Impunity. Now they go for a dive. The hard guard is still there as IZ Bunny will be able oh. to run away, but look oh. at the damage. The yin-yang overturn as Boom goes for the re-engage onto Ramella. It is a four-man dive. White Knight gets it. Renita tries to look for a kill. He is chasing TYY down. He will actually get that kill, but now Yishin Shin and Senpai, they're still alive. Yishin Shin trying to kite away. Diving damage, but look at the way of the dragon. It is perfect. Renita will be able to secure that kill, but is instantly traded back once again by Senpai. Wow, one to two situation there, guys. And it seems like Cho, pretty good way of dragon. I mean, we, we didn't have much faith in Cho because of the previous match. But what I want to know, Arashi, is what is going on with the items here? So OP already secured the Ice Queen's one, so if a fight breaks out here, it's going to be very difficult for I Do Not Sleep as a team to just dive through the Meteor Shower without get, while getting slowed like that and actually be able to catch members of Impunity. Yeah, there's a lot of utility here from the side of IDNS and also Impunity. With that Ice Queen one, Mountain Shocker has been popped. Now TYY going to jump in with the help of White Knight to deal some damage and Renina will be zoned away. Now 30 seconds is on the clock for this turtle. They're already pressuring everywhere on the map. Remember the last time they did did this. Oh, wait, 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 the connection and TYY, he gets taken oh down, God. this might just be a blunder, they're looking for a trade off and Senpai, now he's gonna be the one caught, Impunity, what is no. going on, IDNS, what an unfortunate event, but IDNS will be able to get that Impunity though, still looking for some trades on the map, but oh, that is a massive mistake, unfortunate. That was super unfortunate, the way that she just stood under tower there, and Instantly, instantly, IDNS profiting over it, taking that turtle. Wow. Oh, that is so unfortunate. The lead that they've been building from the uh. early game, the lead is now gone. It's actually IDNS with the lead right now, as White Knight has also lost this XP lead now. Meteor Shower going in, though. Senpai trying to look for something, but that was a great retribution now from the side of Royce to secure that orange buff. White Knight is one level behind. Okay, we're seven minutes in. Not much of a goal difference, I have to say. But Arashi, at this stage, who do you think has the better chance? I think at the, as the game goes on, again, Impunity is build, is catching up. And they do have the Yi Sun Shin and the Chang -e for that late game fight. As we mentioned earlier, I don't sleep's composition needs to dive through all this AOE coming from the side of Impunity with the Kagura, with the Chang -e. So as the game goes on, they have a better chance of winning the game. So it's a bit... I feel like I don't sleep needs to pick up the pace and try and get a bit more. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about impunity, but I just I do want to mention something about IDNS. Renita Zanri was one of the most consistent members here in the IDNS composition. He actually oh. jumps onto TYY, circling eagle to Renita as he gets just bursted down right here. There's nothing IDNS can do, but the hard guard goes onto the wrong member. Renita trying to run away. Now Lois dealing damage, but there's just not enough damage. Izzy Bunny joins in the fight. He is not gonna use that final blow just yet as OP look at the Ooh. damage, the zoning from OP with that Ice Queen wand, slowing everyone down, showering the members of IDNS. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is still such a close match, but oh, Ooh. he goes in for Izzy Bunny. Izzy Bunny tries to escape. Okay. And he will. And he will. Izzy Bunny, uh, I, like I said, oh my, I got not, no time to, say, to stop here. All right, now I get some time to speak. IDNS, all right? Mm -hmm. Renita Zanri is one of the most consistent members on their group. He has been very, very consistent as the Paquito. And now, Ooh. with the help of Izzy Bunny, a guy who is not as consistent, oh God, but he's guys. more flashy. Caught. White Knight gets caught out. What are you doing there? That is way too offside, especially with five seconds on the clock on the turtle respawn timer. It feels like impunity. Just got tilted after that play. Guys, what happened? And now they're going down. 
Boom trying to zone them out from Turtle. He goes in, but no real commitment here. As IDNS goes to the bottom side. Oh, but Turtle is Whoa. already out. Oh, what? no. This is just was that a, a solo disaster. Kill? It was a solo kill. And we mentioned earlier, OP is one of the strongest members here in the Impunity. Icy Bunny goes for a 2v1. We've seen this before from Fairsick. IDNS looking for more. Icy Bunny going to dash away, but T still has that flicker away. It looks so good up until the end, but in the end, it will still be good for IDNS. No! Oh. It still comes in. Yin Yang overturn. This is a disaster for IDNS. Impunity gets all the kills. Boom looking for more. Lois is the target as White Knight will try to follow it up, but that will be Impunity stealing the Lord away. Guys, what was that? That was such an amazing play there by Senpai taking that Lord, even though they were really, really zoned out. And now they're one tower behind and a Lord is already on its way. And you can even see the Chang'e on the top side trying to pressure that top side, trying to take that turret. So there's going to be a lot of objectives taken here by Impunity. That was super, super sad as well. There's so many sad moments in this game, guys. <laughs> the lore that was going so well after Izzy Bunny got a solo kill after he zoned two members, it's still stolen away by Senpai. There's a reason he call, they call him Senpai, guys. <laughs> Izzy Bunny now trying to clear this lord, and actually, it will go down with no contest right here. It looks like Impunity just didn't have the wave pressure, and they didn't really play for the lord that well. They should have actually just pushed the mid wave while the lord was pushing because they know it was their attention was being brought to the other lane. But in the end, they will still be able to get a single turret off of that lord power play. So now we're in ten. Oh, but meteor shower goes off and flashes. He kind of gets chunked down to half health. Yeah, you can see the glowing one and also the ice queen one doing work right there. He just gets burned after that. He cannot recall because of the glowing one. And right now, as it stands, Arashi, IDNS. As the game progresses, it will be their chance of winning goes less and less every second. So, what do they have to do right now? Do they just force a team fight? Do they just look for trades? What are their, what are their winning conditions? I think this Easy Bunny is actually doing very well in this game right now. They can actually use him to go for like a split first strategy and patch maybe try and catch out members of Impunity mid rotation when they're trying to deal with the pressure from the split push. Oh, Rinda's Zanri though goes for the way the dragon now follow up from everyone at IDNS gonna be able to burst him Ooh. down. A senpai gets taken very. Very, very low, but boom, actually still able to run away. My goodness, is still pressuring right now. But what a save by T. And here, do you see the value of Matilda as a, as a hero doing so many things? All so many, like so many saves, so many engages, all in one package in this hero, Matilda, which is why it's so meta right now. For sure, and right now it's like Impunity and IDNS, they're just both, they're not looking for crazy fights. They saw a pick and they went for it. Right now they're both just trying to scale up. Lois is trying to get that level 15, but unfortunately they're both scaling at the same pace. Um, Impunity as well, like that White Knight rotation, I mean he got caught out there and it was instantly punished by IDNS. So we can expect that a winning condition would require some pickoffs like that and maybe taking it on into a team fight? Yeah, maybe. Just making it messy for the team. Yeah. Right now, IDNS, they've been trying to look for the picks and they've actually been, I, I want to say quite successful, but that save was just beautiful by Impunity. It mm -hmm. would have been a great pick, especially onto the frontliner. Boom. Without Boom, their team kind of just lacks that frontline, right? As you said before. Mm -hmm. So, that was a great, great save by T to get Boom out of that situation. And right now, IDNS, they're getting very, very desperate once it goes to the late game. Already in the kind of late game stages, the mid to late game stages right now as we hit the 13 minute mark in 30 seconds. Yeah, you can see both teams just trying to, you know, wait it out, trying to look for a good pick Ooh. here from Four both man sides. right here, but OP actually finds out and flickers away. Oh. But the way the dragon being used now under the turret though, Royce with the Lycan Pounce gonna be able to burst him down. Oh. White Knight comes in for a trade, but no! Renita lives with ah. one HP! And that is a trade of turrets and a trade of kills here in the game. Senpai will be able to secure Cure that one. No, actually, Lois gets it. White Knight trying to burst Izzy Bunny down. Still able to run away with the dashes, but White Knight. Ooh, so, so close. One more auto attack is all he needs. It. He doesn't oh, get he it, though. No, there's a blunder, but he dashes. Oh, oh the God. Impunity comes in. That was insane. But Impunity again with the great save from T. Why? Why? My wow. goodness. Guys, this is getting super, super, super heated. I mean, four seconds on the clock here on Lord, and it seems like they're already waiting there. 
they are already waiting and impunity with that one pick. I thought White Knight would be caught. If White Knight got caught there, no Lord for that them. Was Actually, so close. Lord for IDNS. So. Beautiful save once again by TYY. He's been so, so impeccable in this game. But oh, actually, boom, canceled out the final blow. Izzy Bunny forced to run away without an ultimate and already chunked to very, very low high HP. Mountain Shocker being used to get vision on every single member. And now they know what position IDNS is in. Yeah, you're completely right. But guys, the item builds are up. And I want to know what Arash is. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Flash XD already with the Divine Glaive even after the Clock of Destiny and the Lightning Truncheon. There's going to do huge amounts of nuke damage. But on the other hand, OP does have Ooh, the I have one. to cut you off right Ooh. there. The final blow being used, but White Knight will be able to secure that way. The Dragon being Ooh. used to White Knight, but he's still able to just run away. Royce gets taken down. They're looking for more. Izzy Bunny trying to distract everyone. Renita gets a Jeet Kune on two members. Kiting oh very, very well. Romella and Flash XD gets it, but White Knight jumps in. He's going to be able to get two members taken away, but that is all. Impure trying to look for more kills. The Mountain Shocker almost Ooh. gets Flash XZ. Not going to in the end, but Impunity secures a win in the team fight and a Lord. Yeah, it seems like that Lord is already on its way and Izzy Bunny here trying to help out. But I... OP goes in and tries to zone Izzy Bunny. Guys, is this, if this is a 1v1 fight? This is a 1v1. We saw this before the first time around. Izzy Bunny was able to get the better of OP. The meter shower Ooh. doesn't connect. Izzy Bunny still trying his best to clear it, but Ooh. this oh. is dangerous. Hard guard comes in as long as the circling eagle. Amazing. Eye for an eye as he goes for the re-engage. Final blow to the backside. Now still alive. Oh my god, Izzy Bunny. What a play. Wait, the dragon gets TYY, but the meter shower will just burst everyone oh. down. OP is OP. Double kill picked up by OP. Is not enhanced. Lord will charge on the turret they will get the second inhibitor turret and the third will follow this will be the base taken down oh as God, well guys. impunity looking for the end and it will be impunity wait just a minute no minions left he's still oh. able to end the game impunity with an amazing game number one that was well played there by impunity good game well played congratulations as they win the first game of this match Wow, wow, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful game right there from 